The roots of the Mactivish name can be traced back to G. Mactamhai's form of Mathai's, a lowland Scots adaptation of the name Thomas. The clan's numerous members were predominantly found in Argyllshire, a region known for its breathtaking beauty and historical significance. According to the Craignish MS, the Mactavishes or clan Tavish of Dunardair were believed to descend from Tavis Cor, the second illegitimate son of Gillespic, son of Callan Moymath, good bald Colleen. Throughout history, members of clan Mactavish left their indelible mark on the tapestry of Scotland's story. Duncan Thwise was documented in 1355, providing evidence concerning the lands of Blas in Argyllshire. Duncan McTorst, a tenant of half of Kerlich, Strogartney, in 1480, showcased the clan's presence and influence. Thomas McTavis, recorded as a charter witness at Kenark in 1515, further solidified the McTavish's engagement in historical proceedings. Clans in Scotland often shared complex interconnections, and the McTavishes were no exception. The McTavishes of Stratheric are considered a sept of the Frasers, highlighting the intricate web of allegiances and affiliations that shaped the history of Scottish clans. Despite the passage of time, the McTavish clan managed to maintain its identity and traditions. In 1997, a significant milestone was achieved when Edward Stuart, Dougal McTavish of Dunedry was recognized by the Lord Lion King of Arms as the 26th Chief of the Name and Arms of McTavish. This recognition underscored the clan's distinct Highland heritage and solidified its place in Scottish history. Numerous places of historical and cultural significance are intertwined with the McTavish clan's legacy. Dunad, located in Argyll, once served as the heartland of the kings of Dalriada, and stands as a testament to the clan's enduring presence. The Kilmartin Churchyard, boasting a 14th-century tombstone adorned with the name Mactavish, connects the clan to medieval traditions and rituals. The Mactavish lineage traversed time and borders, leaving an indelible mark not only in Scotland, but also across the world. The saga continues with the exploits of figures like Lachlan Mactavish of Dunedry, who became Sheriff Substitute of Kintyre and later embarked on new ventures in Edinburgh and Canada. The family's legacy found its modern expression with William McTavish's ascent to Governor of Assinay Boyer and Rupert's Land in 1885.